Aurelian Soul more like... It's so fucking hard to last hit! Welcome to League of Legends Actual Champion Spotlight, featuring Aurelian Soul. Seriously, what the fuck? From Rayquaza to Aoshin to Aurelian Soul, this guy's been in the making for a while now. And the least they could do is, you know, make it so that in the fog of war people can't see your goddamn passive. I know it's intentional, but come on. Bush strats, man. You know, Aurelian Soul is he's the is the Shenron of League of Legends, the American Dragon of League of Legends, the Dragoon of League of Legends, the Shendu of League of Legends, fucking Jackie Chan Adventures. What the fuck did I watch when I was a kid? Riot hates this guy. I mean, he was out for like less than two weeks before they decided to fucking nerf his ass. That's fucked up, guys. It's like a bunch of champions got together and had an orgy with Anivia, and this is the spawn that was born. There's like 30 fucking minutes of dialogue on this guy. Jesus fuck, he talks a lot, and every single one. One is just a diss towards the other champions. It's fucking awesome. But there's only three recordings that actually matter, and that's where he says boop, which I wish popped up more because it's the funniest shit in the world hearing this big ass blue dragon come by and saying boop. Boop. It's like it's like you play this guy and you feel like that you're not doing anything, but then you see the damage that you do and you're like, wow. I still feel like I'm not doing anything. If you hate going against Yasuo, LeBlanc, or Zed, then you don't want to play Aurelian Soul because you're going to hate them even more when you're playing this guy. In fact, you're probably going to hate anyone that's a melee champion when you're playing this guy because unless you have your ult, you're going to have a bad time. You just stand there letting them wail on you inside of your clusterfuck star circle like, this is fine. Now, I know I know there's a penis joke in here. Now, I'm not saying that he doesn't do any damage because he does a fuck ton of it when playing him right, but it's just weird and awkward trying to deal DPS with him. It's as weird as the Russian military buying bottlenose dolphins and not telling anyone why. I don't know, man. The fucking Russian military is weird, dude. So you've got your passive center of the universe, where he constantly has three stars rotating around him that constantly deal damage whenever the balls hit something. I swear, I swear I'm missing some kind of penis joke here again. Every time the ball hits something, you deal, uh, uh, a, lo a lot, a lot of damage? And you also execute minions that are below 25 health, which is actually a really awkward number. Sometimes you'll feel like a minion's health is low enough to die to it, but nope, not gonna happen. Sometimes you'll feel like your orbs are going to hit the minion, but nope, not gonna happen. Sometimes you'll be farming under your turret and you'll be like, I fucking hate my life. And the effect gets disabled whenever you become CC'd by anything that stops you from using any of your abilities. Sucks your balls right back inside of you. Why can't I think of any penis jokes? You know, it's uh, the balls, you know, they're your fucking, they're, they're your bopping boopers. Your fucking bop a bopper. Your fucking sock em boppers. Boop a boopers. Uh, fucking uh, rally and so. I just want to say that I just noticed this in the soccer boppers commercial. This kid punched the other kid in the fucking arm. Bare fisted. This kid is a fucking asshole. So sometimes the passive sucks, but you know what? It's not too bad. You just got to make it so then people don't see that you're upset. And that's why you put the happy face up in all chat. You see that? That's 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 the face that you put to show that you're not upset. But secretly, you just want to kill yourself. But you have to put the space in between the nose and the eyes. That's the most important step. Not this shit. Not this shit. This shit. You gotta put the space in there. And the farther the nose is from the eyes, the more you fucking hate your life. Missing farm? Kill myself face. Enemy team camping you? Kill myself face. Zed constantly killing you in lane? Kill myself face. Your parents are cutting you off? Kill myself face. See a shitty video on YouTube? Kill myself face. Girlfriend cheating on you with your best friend? Kill myself face. Someone calling you a faggot? You call them a faggot. Kill myself face. Dragon. But when activating your W Celestial Expansion, your passive range is increased when activated and moves slightly faster. Even though it doesn't say so in the abilities, it does move just a little bit faster while also dealing 50% more damage. So it's kind of like a Karthus E, but worse. Or it's kind of like an Anivia ult, but worse. And it stays active for as long as you have the ability turned on and turns off when you deactivate the ability. Now, your W is probably one of the funniest abilities in the game. Just seeing people die to your orbs is just fucking hilarious because nobody expects your W dealing that much fucking damage to them. And then when you have Thunderlords, it's whoo! Look at that. All, ki all kinds all kinds of damages. And then once you've built a Rylize, the enemy team has to make a choice of either getting booped to death or turning around to fight you. And there are some times when this ability makes you feel sad when you've used all of your other abilities and just have to wait for your W to try and finish the job for you or when you just get a kill for literally doing nothing but standing there which is the best definition of this character the dragon champion that does nothing but still kills things so you just got to put that in the definition there the 
could use some real help. Oh god damn it! I smited too late. I hate myself. <laughs> I literally I didn't time? move at all. <laughs> time to rearrange my world. Early game disability sucks up a lot of mana when you keep it on, and I like how in Riot's champion spotlight for this champion, they showed examples of Relian using his W, but you know, okay, okay, first of all, one, no one's going to stand there when they're a fucking melee champion, and two, when he's fighting a Nivea level one, he lost half of his mana. The fuck is this shit? Your Q is Star Surge. It's an AoE burst scaling with 60% of your AP that explodes when reaching the outer limit of your passive, stunning all targets hit. You can reactivate your Q before it hits your outer limit to have the stun activate sooner, but what's bullshit is that you can't fucking double tap the ability like a Nivea stun, which makes melee champions that can hop on top of you so cancerous. Whenever someone comes into your no-no zone, you literally have nothing you can do at early level, so you have to just accept the harassment that they land on you. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. The only saving grace about this ability is how big you can make the circle. When you activate your Q and shoot it into a certain direction, you can keep Star Surge constantly moving as long as the center of the spell doesn't cross your outer limit. And while this is happening, you also gain 10% bonus movement speed so you can keep up with it easier. So grabbing Swifty Boots, you can make the circle pretty huge to make it more complicated for your opponent to dodge the ability, but when you're going against someone that has, you know, a dash or a blink, it can be pretty easy for them to dodge it when they see this massive circle coming straight towards them. You feel like Goku powering up throughout the entire season. If you do happen to land the Q, you can then dish out a couple more damage by hitting them with your W and trying your best to stick onto them with the ability toggled and just follow them as they try to run away. Your Q is a great way to start up team fights and flank people whenever you gank them, which is where your E Comet of Legend comes handy because you become. God damn it. Passively, you gain stacks while you're moving in a straight line and gain bonus movement speed, but when you take a slight turn, your movement speed goes down, and when you're damaged by a turret or champion, you lose your stacks and your movement speed. I swear to God, there's a dick joke in here. I know there's a dick joke in here. And then once you reach 100 stacks, you're able to fly over all terrain. It's like a bar tunnel, except that you can literally move across the entire fucking map. The only drawback is just that the enemy team can see you whenever you E, and also whenever you cast an ability besides your Q or whenever a turret or champion hits you, you you come out of your god mode and move like you normally would. You can also use the ability as a way to escape a gank or when you're in a bad position. Yeah, get fucked, bitch! When you use your E along with your Q, you gain enough movement speed to grow your star surge as you move with your E in order to gain a huge stun radius that you can hit the enemy team with. Fuck. Even though this looks cool and you'll probably see some fucking massive cues that can take up an entire lane, the spell is pretty easy to dodge since you can only fly in one single direction. So if you see someone get hit by a massive fucking dragon that has a goddamn star the size of your mother's areola then they pretty much deserve to get hit but you don't always have to use your e and q together your e can just be used as a way to help gank a lane since you gain so much movement speed off its passive and then activate it in order to get off some really good flanks and then use your q in order to lock your enemies down there are some times when you'll get off a good eq combo but most of the time you'll just be using your e to get to lane faster to go gank and then use your q and that's pretty much it the eq combo is pretty much a gimmick to be honest, but it, it, it's still it, it, lo it looks pretty fucking cool. You gotta admit. And finally, we've got your ult voice of light. This ability is like a Lee Sin kick, a quirky special delivery, and a Brom ult put together. So let's let's just recap real quick. So so far we've got an orgy with a Nivea, Lee Sin, a mentally handicapped Karthus, Corky, Bard, and Brom. Oh, and Shivana. That's one fucked up baby. You shoot a line in front of you that scales with 70% of your AP, slowing everyone hit by 40 to 60%, and also knocking back champions close to you to your outer limit. This ability is your only saving grace against melee champions, since whenever you use it, the champions that are hit close to you are pushed into your outer limit, where you can then use your Q in order to stun them like the pieces of shit they are. Woo! Yeah, you like that shit? Dash away from that, you fuck ass! It's a, it's a great way to snipe champions that are getting away, break up a team fight, help kite, and just deal a mass amount of damage. Or you can be like me and just miss it entirely, and then it's like, 
Yeah, I'm bad. It takes a while for Aurelion's soul to scale up, so you just want to play it safe early game, and once you get a Rylize, you can start just being a massive dickhead towards your enemy team, since you can kite for all eternity and then just stick on them until they decide they no longer want to live anymore. Now, there are just a few things that I would wish would happen to make him just, like, feel better, like letting him double press his Q so he doesn't have to get dicked on by, like, melee champions out the ass, or making it so then his W moves faster as you level it up, but still, he, he feels he feels awkward but with enough practice, he can, he can be pretty good. In my opinion, Aurelian is a strong champion. It should be played as someone who zones out the other champions in team fights and generally just plays the roles of a supportive mage that also deals a lot of damage. But the only problem with him is just that his abilities are just so... So... Boring. It, it just doesn't feel satisfying at all whenever you get a kill, whereas you play almost like any other champion and you feel like you're fucking making the world rotate the way you want it to. You look at fucking... You look at Yorick and it's like... Hey, fucking, hey, check this out. I killed him by being an asshole. You play Teemo, it's like, hey, fucking, check this out. I killed him by being an asshole. You fucking, you play Zed and you're just like, hey, fucking, check this out. I killed him by being an asshole. But with Aurelian Soul, it's like, hey, I got a kill. Woo! I'm a one yeah. Squeeze. Woo! <laughs>